As the final remnants of a mild winter quickly vanish, so too does any semblance of the concept of mild. The character of March, here in the Smokies, is defined by turbulence. Fitting, as the name of March originated in ancient Rome, where the month was called Martius, after Mars or Ares, the Greek god of war. During the early days of the month, it often felt as though the mountains were at war with the air. The turbulence of the shifting seasons is taken from the air and placed into the veins of the mountains. High volumes of water violently rush toward the common low point, carrying bits and pieces of mountain rock toward the Gulf of Mexico. In the roar of the middle prong, a constant reminder of the looming roar that life will soon bellow. At first, the changes within the forest are subtle, almost unnoticeable, but then our senses, as they are so closely tied to the happenings of the planet, begin to notice the changes. Splashes of vibrant green dot the hillsides, and the scent of the air is changed. The forests first awaken at the base, while the tallest of trees continue to slumber. While the warm rains continue to fall, the brightest hues are fashioned within the bodies of our friends, the flowering plants. For there is rapidly coming a time in which a great host of pollinating creatures will burst forth across the land in search of a sustenance and, in doing so, will aid in the continuation of all that we have come to call beautiful. While life begins its seasonal dance into being, the human form cannot help but to mimic such an overwhelming shift in reality. As if to say, I am here too, awaken this life. With a stroke of luck, each of the hundreds of children visiting Tremont in March will find a moment in which they cannot help but to dance along. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Not all creatures are rapidly dancing about the forest during the early spring. Amidst the buzzing, fluttering, flying, and leaping chaos of life, the noticing of a slow and deliberate being feels like a gift of simple grace. Snails are incredibly adaptable creatures, as they are found on land, in saltwater, and freshwater environments. In the early spring, snails, many of whom hibernate by burrowing into the soil for the winter, begin to move about in search of something to eat. To get around, these creatures use a strong, muscular foot and secrete a mucus which allows them to travel over rough surfaces. The mucus also keeps the snails from drying out under the sun. One of the great benefits for students in moving the classroom to the outdoor learning environment is the opportunity to experience life at a pace that contrasts the stimulant overloaded lifestyle of our culture. Silently focusing on the simplicity of a snail is a magical way to slow down and learn to value the moments of life as precious and full of intrinsic wonder. Also available to the outdoor student is the fact that nature is unpredictable and interaction with some aspect of the natural world can yield surprising experiences. Now and then, as in the middle of a torrential hailstorm, which we had many of this March, the slow life comes at a price. March 2012 was the warmest March ever recorded in the United States since official record keeping began in 1895. All 50 states recorded at least one daily record high temperature, and as a whole, the country was 8.6 degrees Fahrenheit above average. While the unusually warm weather sped the progression of spring in the Smokies by about three weeks, the pleasant temperatures also allowed students to comfortably get into the water and experience the thrill of a mountain stream. Here's what a few students had to say about experiencing spring in the Smokies. What I felt was excitement. I loved it. It made me feel safe. I thought, what comes next? What's going to happen? Nature really opened up to me. I was able to notice more in my surroundings. I then saw the colors, the trees, heard so many sounds, and discovered how interesting the moss was. Amazing. When walking on a bunch of leaves, it was like a real forest and then it suddenly looked like a rainforest. I loved it because it was so beautiful. Peace. The answer is found in the bubbling of the brook, the call of a lone bird, and the warmth of the sun upon your face. Those are the words of sixth grade students, allowed to directly experience the big wide world that surrounds them.
The great blue heron is a large wading bird and the largest heron in North America. Though not commonly found along the edges of rivers, just outside of Walker Valley nests a pair of herons atop a towering snag that stands along the little river. The ultimate price of the precarious position of the nest was paid by the herons in early March when a severe storm rolled through and destroyed the bird's home. Throughout the rest of the month, the herons went about the business of rebuilding the nest, stick by stick, in order to have a suitable space for laying a clutch of eggs. The resilience that these birds have shown symbolizes the strength and endurance of living creatures in general. While we think of spring as a time for life to flourish and spread abundantly across the hemisphere, we must also remember that the persistence of any being is defined in courage, dedication, and the relentless will to endure. These herons, in the spring season at large, are to mean anything to those that visit Tremont, it might be thought of as such. Connecting with nature and things larger than oneself is at the heart of the human spirit's will to endure. With the spring emergence, we find the nectar that satisfies our taste for the wondrous life. <laughs>